Jesus Christ. What have we done to our career? Our career. What have we done? Our marriage. What have you done? What have we done? What have we done to her? What have you done? I hate her. I hate her. Why? Why do you hate her? What has she done to you? What has she done to you? Find the name of Jesus Christ. Find the name of Jesus Christ. What have you done to her career? Her marriage? Speak louder. She doesn't have one. She doesn't have one. She can't even get one. Who is the cause? Who is the cause? Find him of Jesus Christ. All over your body. Be cast out. In the name of Jesus Christ. You, say what? you better try harder than that. You say what? You need to try harder than that. You say what? You need to try harder than that. Uh, Jesus Christ is greater than you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ out 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 in Jesus name she's free Can you please tell us your name and where you're from? Victoria Caballero from Richland, Washington. And can you please tell us, before you received that prayer, what was happening in your life or what are the things that was affecting your life before you received that prayer? Actually, probably about a month before the conference, I started feeling heaviness. I was starting to kind of like doubt a lot of things. There wasn't clarity. I was being difficult to deal with. So, you know, so it was my opinion. Um, the relationship with my kids was not as close as I would like it to be. Like I felt like there was a barrier there. Like I couldn't like receive their love. Like I just couldn't, there was something I was blocking it. Like I couldn't like feel it. Like my kids were always around me, but there was just something that my heart wouldn't open up. And I like felt like there was like, even like a demonic force maybe like even on my chest that was making my heart go numb. Cause I was starting to like feel numb. Like I wasn't feeling anything and I didn't know what it was. And it was kind of worrying me. And can you tell us when, uh, before you received that prayer, how was your, did you want to go to the conference? What was your thoughts uh, towards the conference with the Raise the to Deliver? Actually, no. Actually, I didn't even want to go to the conference. I was actually struggling with it for like two weeks before the conference. And normally, through all the conferences that we've had here in the past, I've been excited to come. I've wanted to invite everybody and their mom and all wanted to go. But with this conference, I didn't even want to come. I, I was even questioning whether I was going to go. And I finally was just made the decision that I was going to go, even though there was definitely something that did not want me to come at all to receive my deliverance, obviously. And can you tell us, after you received that prayer, what happened to you? How, what do you see the difference that affected your life after you received this prayer? I feel this sense of peace. I have clarity. I'm not feeling um, anger anymore. Between the, in my household, me and my children, we actually were playing and laughing a lot more. Um, we were going to the park and just running around and just kind of just being kids again and just kind of hanging out. We're jumping over fences to jump into our pool at the apartment, you know, <laughs> just doing stuff that like normally we would. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing just stuff just to have fun and it's just I kind of forgot how to laugh and have fun there for a little bit and and now I'm just kind of like in this sense of peace and clarity and just kind of just got a refresher that God does love me and he is on the throne and he's going to take care of me and and it 
even though the devil will try to come and lie to me and confuse me, he will still always make a way as long as I'm just faithful and just hold on to any little bit of faith. That's all we need is a mustard seed. Amen. And and do you believe that through this, he declared you free? Do you believe that you're truly free, that you sense that heaviness, that anxiety that you were feeling and experiencing before? Do you feel like you are free? Yes, I do feel like I'm free. I feel like there's just a sense of peace all around. Even at my work, I just feel like there's just more um, peace and serenity there. I'm just less agitated. I'm less irritable. I'm just not so stressed about the things of this world so much anymore. And I just love it. It's an awesome, peaceful feeling just to kind of just to smile and just go through the day and just not get all those intrusive thoughts and all those things that were hindering me from having like relationships with my leaders, with my kids, you know, with my mom, with fellow, you know, men and and women, you know, just friendships, and it's just, it's just not there anymore. There's not that whole, that, there's not that negative voice that would always try to creep in and try to make me feel like I wasn't worthy to have relationships. Wow, come on, you guys. Give God a hand of applause. And Victoria, can you share a word of advice for people that are on this journey and on this path with a relationship with God or are about to enter uh, their relationship with God? What would you advise people that are here today? That God is amazing. He's faithful. He's absolutely the most faithful person, God, you know, creator. And that he will never leave us. He will never forsake us. That he is good to us. He will bless us. He will never do anything to hurt us. All the doubts, all the confusion that's not of God. That he wants us to live a prosperous life here and eternity with him forever. And it's just, we just need to keep pushing forward and just keep walking with him. And stay in the word and stay in a, in a, in a church that is alive and with people that actually want to support you and help you to grow because people here they love you and they actually care for you and sometimes with my situation it was hard for me to receive that because I had never really known real love or genuine love and it was hard for me to understand that there's actually people that care for you and they don't even want anything from you they just want you and your kids to be happy and successful amen amen thanks